YouTube. This is 249. I'm coming back to you with another video. This time I've kind of changed up my EDC bag, my everyday carry bag. Everywhere I go, I carry this bag. If you remember my video a couple of months ago, I had a tactical sling type bag, a messenger type bag. I've gone with the full backpack and um, I'm going to get more into this pack and why I chose to change and what I think about this pack in a little bit. First, I'm gonna just do a pocket dump real quick. Um, what I've been carrying as far as all my person is concerned. And um, I'm gonna go real briefly. I'm not really gonna explain a lot of things. I'm just gonna show you kind of what I'm carrying right now as we start moving into spring and into summer um, out here in Texas. So let's just start with a quick little pocket dump. I got my Leatherman Rev Multi-Tool. I, I keep that in my front right pocket. And then also in my front right pocket, I keep my um, AirPods. And then along with that, I carry my lighter, my big lighter and uh, some chapstick. I just got this chapstick from my Nomadic um, subscription. I've been getting some real cool things from Nomadic. Um, I've got two boxes so far from them. I've used some of their product and I'm, I'm pleased with it. So I'm waiting on that third one to see what I get. Chapstick was one of the ones that came with it. And if you've watched my videos in the past, you know, I really dig some chapstick. So um, here is my m and uh, little compact flashlight I keep in my left front pocket. Along with that, I have my keys, my house keys. Back pocket, back right pocket, I keep my Kershaw blade, my fixed blade. That comes with me everywhere I go. Work, it doesn't matter where I'm at, I carry that with me. And then of course my Buffway Slim Compact Wallet. I, uh, I keep on. Um, normally in my left rear pocket is my cell phone, but I'm not gonna show you that because that's what I'm filming this video on. And then I'm normally appendix carrying my firearm. Um, that's not with me, it's in the house right now. I didn't want to pull it out for the video. Um, so that's kind of what I keep in my pockets. That's my pocket dump for spring moving into summer um, my everyday carry as you see it's kind of slimmed down just a little bit i do carry pins that stuff's in here this is always with me um, so let's get back into this bag and we'll talk about this bag briefly i'm gonna get you closer in that way you can actually see the bag and then we'll move on from there all right here's kind of a close-up of what the bag looks like it is an under armor project rock bag um, like i've stated in previous videos. I love Under Armour. I love the product that they put out. So I support Under Armour. That's my personal preference. I'm not saying you need to go out and get Under Armour. I just like it. I've got several of their products and they put out great things. And this bag is another another great product that they put out uh, teaming with, with uh, The Rock. As you can see, just right up front, you got one pocket up top. You got this large pocket right here. Um, as you turn it, you see that they have this this huge pocket right here. I'll get into what I carry in all of these pockets here in a minute. On the back side, they've got this little small pocket. They do have some Molly on the straps, along with some D-rings and some more uh, little elastic things that you can uh, you can clip to. It's got a nice pull handle right up top, strong and sturdy to stitch in as well. Um, the stitching on the on the straps is is nicely done. Uh, you can see that. I mean, that's some that's some thick st uh, stitching right here. Let me get that to the camera so you can see. That. That's some nice good stitching on the straps. And then on the uh, on the right side of the pack, you got two of these pouches right here, and then you can see these. This opens up. You got another pouch here. And then, oh, look out. Tearing up my old studio here. So let's get into this bag and what I carry in, just real briefly. So in this first pouch, right up front, this is kind of my uh, sanitation, uh, cleanliness, if you want to say, type uh, pouch. I got some Kleenex. I've got some uh, 
uh, wet ones, uh, N95 mask. I have my uh, my LSU mask, go Tigers. I've got some hand sanitizer. I've got some uh, Ursa Major essential face wipes. This is another product that I got from Nomadic. Um, I've, I've got two of these, I've used one so far. Nice, is all I have to say. Oh, I'm sorry, here's the second one, I, had th I got three. And then I've got some um, some lotion, uh, just in case my hands get dry and things like that, and some more hand sanitizer spray. And then, um, oh, this is a, <laughs> it's a magnet, backup magnet for my phone. For my my phone carrier that I keep in my car, so I didn't even know I put that in there. So that there you go, that's in there. It's a pretty large pouch, as you can see. My hand it goes completely in to the wrist. So that's and you can see it's lined. It's kind of like waterproof, which is great because it's right up front. And let me talk a little bit more about this pack. Why I decided to buy it um, when the rock teamed up with Under Armour uh, a couple years ago. He put out this pack and he, he always said he wanted to put out product that he himself tested and threw around and beat up. And he tested this thing for about a year and it held up great for him. So he, he mass produced it. But when it first came out, it was like 150 bucks and I just wasn't gonna pay $150 on a bag. I just, I, I can't do it. I got three kids and I can't justify spending 150 bucks on a pack. Um, so this past February, we were in vacation in Tennessee, and we went to the um, outlet mall in Seaverville. And I went into the Under Armour store in that outlet mall because, you know, I love Under Armour. And there I saw the pack. Um, then I saw it was 40% off of 120 bucks. So I was like, okay, that that is feasible. I said, I'm going to get it. I did the math. I was like, that's cool. I, I don't mind paying that much for this pack. I know it's going to hold up. I know it's going to be a great product. Well, I get to the line and they tell me, oh, first responders get an extra 10% off. Yo, I got this pack 50% off 70 bucks is, is, is where, what I, after taxes and after all of that, 70 bucks is what I spent on this bag. This is a steal. Uh, for this bag, for this quality, so 70 bucks, I'm happy with it. Um, I've been carrying it and using it every day since February. Again, I take this thing with me everywhere I go, to the grocery store, to a friend's house, on little road trips. This thing comes with me to work. It sits in the front seat of my police car. I dip into this pack five, six times a day. So it is nothing for me to, to always be carrying this pack. Um, we went on a little excursion to uh, Enchanted Rock out here in Texas. And um, we walked up the hill up the enchanted rock to the highest point and um i carried his backpack um it was a steep climb it was a very uh challenging climb and i had this backpack and no problems um didn't have any problems with the pack i uh, didn't have any problems with the content that was in it i was even loaded down with some extra water because it was it was hot that day it was one of the um, only hot days we've had so far this year and um we just happened to go up there when it was 90 something degrees and um I had no issues with this pack. Um, I carried it. Um, the wind was blowing. It was able to vent on my back, and um, it was great. So, wanted to brag on this pack real quick before I went back into more of the pockets. So on the side, you see this large compartment here. In my last video, everybody was like, "Well, where do you keep your water bottle at, Grant?" Well, here you go. This is where I keep my water bottle. This thing holds my 22 ounce igloo tumbler. Uh, this is vacuum sealed. It's not single wall. It, it, it holds that very well. Uh, this is what I carry with me every day. I drink out of this thing, water, tea, it doesn't matter, coffee. This is this comes with me. This is in my bag. This is in my car, my cup holder. When I'm working extra jobs, I have this. While I'm on patrol, this is in the cup holder in my Tahoe. This bad boy comes with me everywhere I go. It fits right in. Zip it right up. No problems. It stays secure. And then on this side, I showed you the small little zipper. 
Um, it's just small enough to where you can store maybe your wallet if you don't want to keep it on your person. You can store, you know, some other things that you keep in your pockets, keys, anything you want. It's pretty deep. I can't fit my whole fat hand in there, but it goes all the way past my knuckles. So I'll keep some spare cash in there if, if need be. Normally that's on me. But this is a cool little feature. It's kind of hidden. You don't really see it. Um, on the straps, I still keep my S-clip um, because you never know when I need to clip something on there. And then here, I've got this little D-ring on the strap. This is the little uh, Streamlight Nano. I've had to use this thing plenty of times when I come home at night and the porch light isn't on and it's dark and I can't see what I'm doing because it's dark. This is perfect. I just turn this little light on. I can see the uh, the dead the um, dead bolt. Unlock it. Get inside. Um, I've used this uh, just walking around and it's dark just for a little light. This is works perfect. So Streamlight Nano. And on the other side, the opposite side of where I carry my, my water, we'll go into the top pouch. This is my, you want to say, nutrition type pouch. Snacks and and um, stuff to flavor water. So let's get in that real quick. Some of these buckles are still a little hard to, uh, to mess with, but they are secure. I mean, so here I've got my... Propel, um, this electrolyte drink mix. Um, this is another hydration drink mix that I got in my Nomadic subscription. I haven't gotten into this one yet. I'm gonna soon. And I carry my instant coffee all in the same package. And then I just got some bars, um, Kind bars. I've got some Nature Valley bars. And I've got a just a, a Quaker Chewy bar. Um, and that's pretty much all I keep in there. It's just stuff for nutrition. I know that this top pouch has my drink mixes, it has my coffee, and it has some snack bars, just in case I'm on the go. Uh, I'm with someone and you know, maybe they're diabetic and they need a little quick pick-me-up. I have something to provide right here. And this bottom one, I kind of, I dub it my little tool pouch. Um, I have a good old Husky multi-tool. I did a, uh, I showed y'all what that looked like in my other one. I still have it, it's still gone. I keep my little lint pack in here, start a fire. And I have my box, my, my rapid charging box in here. So that's why I say this is kind of like my tool pouch. And then of course, I, I always have spare change with me and that's where I keep all of my spare change. And before I get into the bigger pouches, the bigger compartments. This little top piece right here, you see it's got the zipper. That's where I keep my, my glasses, my spare seeing glasses, because I wear contacts, but I want to be prepared. Something happens to my contacts, one pops out, whatever, they get all messed up, I have my glasses. So those always stay right here. Those always come with me. So let's get into the uh, the big, the big uh, compartment here. Now it does, open up pretty well. It'll it'll almost clamshell open up. So it opens up pretty good. Um, I like that feature about this backpack. That's another reason why I went from a sling or a messenger pack to this uh, because it opens up um, a lot larger than what my messenger pack did. So just real briefly, you know, I got me my pens, blue pen, my Sharpie pen, and my zebra pen. I do carry gum. And I still carry the original wristbands from my Apple Watch. Um, and these are all admin pouches that I'm grabbing the stuff out of. Hey, we will just open it up like that. I might have to hold it so it doesn't fall. Uh, back here in this little pouch, I carry extra box of contacts, my grinds, y'all remember my grinds, and then I carry earplugs, just in case. Um, in this pocket right here, I carry my, my daily 
my daily planner, my organizer. And then as it clamps shells open, so it's, it's closed like so, it opens in between all of this, I carry my Gerber Fix knife. Um, I'm very pleased with this knife. I'm not going to get into the specifics of it. You can see it has a ferrocium rod right here. It also has a, a knife sharpener. Um, this is a cool little little sheath. It has a little whistle. Um, I might do a review on this. Just a short little three minute review on it. But I've used this several times and I like it. Yeah, I've got my journal. Jot down ideas. Whatever. Um, right here. AR mag. You know me. And... You can see right here in this pouch, this is where I keep my iPad because I want my iPad protected. I spend money on that iPad, I pay monthly for that iPad, so I want to protect it. So this is kind of what it looks like wide open clamshell. <clears throat> plenty of storage, plenty of admin pouches, has a little keychain. That's where I clip my uh my personal keys for my personal car when I'm at work. That way they're always with my bag. I don't forget them in my police car uh, so that's what that section looks like and one thing I missed while in that clamshell part is my uh, power bank uh, I've used this I don't know how many times to charge my phone to charge my Apple watch to charge my iPad this thing actually charges pretty quick and it'll charge a couple of devices picked it up at Walmart for I think 10 20 bucks um, so great little power bank and again, I keep this in the clamshell part, uh, and it goes right next to my uh, my daily plan. That way, I know exactly where it's at at all times. So, I put all the contents back. That way, I can save the space for the video. So that's the large clamshell portion of the bag. Let's get into this part of the bag right here. Get this thing closer so you can see. Uh, this opens up pretty wide. It doesn't completely open like a clamshell, but you can see, you can get an idea of, of how, how much you can fit in there. And my first aid kit, um, this is my this is my, my baby right here. This is I have this thing chocked full of all kind of first aid stuff. If you want to see what I have in here, um, go watch my first EDC bag video. And uh, I'll go over all the contents of that. And my Expedition, nothing has changed with my Expedition pouch. I made a video on that. You want to see what's in that, go check out my Expedition pouch. But that sits right there also. <clears throat> you remember this can? This is my little personal hygiene. I will dip into this real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I've got mouthwash. I've got the little disposable toothbrushes. I've got some Icon, my contact case, some floss, and some Vaseline. Um, so that's my little personal hygiene kit that I uh, I made up after watching other YouTubers and got ideas from some new guys. Um, and then I've added. I've added some stuff, which is another reason why I went with a larger bag. Um, I think it's important to carry a water filtration with you every day, everywhere you go. You just never know. You could be at an appointment or you could be at a meeting and something bad just happens like that. And you don't have time to run and get your, your bug out bag or your get home bag or your emergency bag. You don't have time to do all that kind of stuff. Um, so I feel it's essential to have some of the... Uh, the 10 C's of survival that Canterbury came up with in your everyday carry. So my Sawyer Mini is one of those. I got the bladder and I got the Mini wrapped in with just rubber band. I got a dry bag, that way I can just collect items if I need to. It's just an extra bag I keep in there, it weighs nothing. Um, this is my, my trauma kit. Again, you wanna see what's in here. Go check out my first EDC carry bag, my sling bag. I break it down and I show you everything that's in here. I keep it right next to my first aid kit. I've added uh, this little light rain jacket. It's a uh, it's an Ozark Trails. It's a Walmart special. I bought it for I think twenty five bucks. 
and I've already had to use this. Uh, last Friday, it was pouring down rain over here. Matter of fact, it rained for like a couple of days here in, in, in my part of, of Texas. And um, <clears throat> I had to use this. And I had to go to an early morning uh, breakfast meeting. Uh, and not only did it keep me dry, it has a hood, it has all kinds of stuff. And I may do a quick little review on it and, and show you what it looks like and put it on and, and, and things like that. Um, but not only did it keep me um, dry from the elements, it also kept me warm because when I transitioned into the restaurant, it was cold in there. So it kept me warm. It's a fantastic job. Ozark Trail. You don't need to spend 50 bucks on, on the Frog Togs or Columbia or all those other things. Look, budget friendly. You know me. I'm budget friendly. Ozark Trail. 25 bucks. It goes right into this little pouch. It comes with this. I keep it in there. Again, going along the lines of just the 10 C's, I got my SOL bivy, my emergency bivy. If something happens, I'm able to at least make a makeshift shelter. I can keep myself warm. This right here, it stays and it comes with me. And you can see, it's a large, large compartment that all of that sits in. Um, so that's pretty much it for this bag, y'all. Uh, I am very pleased with this bag. It, it stood out to me because it has some of my favorite colors, yellow and black. Um, a little hint in Batman there. Uh, overall, great job on armor. Great job, Rock. Um, I really like the bag. And I, yeah, I am, I am endorsing this thing because it works well. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It holds my stuff. It's durable. I can throw it around. I'm not worried about it. It gets wet. I wipe it off. I clean it. And I go. And and that's that's kind of what the purpose of this is. To be prepared and to have what you need to make your day run a little bit smoother and a little bit better. So I hope y'all liked the video. If you did, hit like, smash that subscribe button. Uh, I know I've been kind of away from YouTube for the last couple of weeks, month, whatever. Uh, but I'm going to get back into the making videos for you guys and get back into the game. Um, drop me a comment if you have any suggestions or if you like what you see here, man. Just drop me some a little encouragement. I love interacting with you guys. I'm at like 121 subscribers. Man, I'd really like to get to 500 quick. Um, so I might cook up a giveaway to make sure that we get up to that. Um, I might buy a, uh, a similar bag. I might buy a messenger bag. I might give away something large. That way we can get up to 500 subscribers. So again, I appreciate your support. I appreciate the viewing. And as I always said, stay prepared, man. And I forgot to mention that this pack right here weighs about 13 pounds, 14 pounds with all the contents that you see in it. So I just want to throw that out there because I know someone would ask, hey, Grant, how much does that weigh with all that stuff in it? So there you go. I think it's about 13 pounds. So again, thanks for watching and uh, look forward to more videos in the future.